Some of the most vivid dreams that people will see in their lives are usually of their loved ones that have passed away. And sometimes those dreams have really deep meanings to a point that they scare the person that saw them. How do we come to terms with this? Are we actually seeing the dead when we dream? And I was thinking about, you know, which dream to narrate. And I remembered this incident with Tufayl ibn Amr al-Dawsi, radiallahu anhu. There are numerous dreams, but I want to start with this one for a reason. Tufayl ibn Amr al-Dawsi was, of course, famous in his uh, interaction with the Prophet Sallallahu He brought the tribe of Dos to Islam to accept Islam with the Prophet Sallallahu And he made hijrah. He migrated to Medina. And when he migrated to Medina, he had a man with him from his tribe. And when this man made the hijrah, left everything behind, made the hijrah with Tufayl, with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to Medina, the climate of Medina got to him. He became ill. And as he suffered his illness, he cut his fingers. And when he cut his fingers, um, the, the blood f- would flow from his hands. And eventually he passed away. Now, this is a very interesting situation. Tufayl says, I saw him in a dream and he was in a good state. Meaning, you know, he looked to be from the people of Al-Jannah, but his fingers were still cut off or he was he had his hands wrapped and it was clear that his fingers were were still cut off so he said i asked him i said what has allah done with you and he said allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pardon me because of my hijra with the prophet sallallahu alaihi because of my migration with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but as for my fingers allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to me i will not restore what you yourself ruined i will not restore what you yourself ruined and what did the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam do Tufayl says that the Prophet Sallallahu raised his hands to the sky and he says, Allahumma wali yadayhi faghfir, Allahumma wali yadayhi faghfir. Oh Allah, and for his hands forgive him. Oh Allah, and for his hands forgive him. There are numerous dreams that get narrated and uh, we find not just from the Prophet Sallallahu and the companions, but throughout history of students seeing their teachers. How do we come to terms with this? Are we actually seeing the dead when we dream? Are we seeing them? Are we seeing a representation of them? How do we come to terms with this? Well, first and foremost, establish the understanding of a dream in general, that bad dreams are from the shaitan and we are to seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from them and not to entertain them. So if you see a dream that displeases you, say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, seek refuge in Allah and don't seek the interpretation of that dream. When it comes to good dreams and when it comes to us seeing our deceased ones, of course, some people might be having, you know, just hadith nafs just regurgitated thoughts. But the possibility of actually seeing a person that has passed away is established by the scholars of Islam. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, he describes it as the following. He says that the soul moves freely at the time of sleep. You know, when, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala compares sleep to mot, it is a minor death. Every time you go to sleep, you are saying, Bismik Allahumma amutu wa ahya. In your name, O oh Allah, I die and I am given life. You wake up in the morning, Alhamdulillah ladhi ahyana ba'dama amatana. Right? All praises be to the one who gave us life after he took our souls, after death. So every night you're going to sleep, there is death. Your soul travels, it moves freely during sleep and it meets with the souls of others. And so Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala says, that while you are asleep, it may be that your soul would meet the soul of your loved one. Remember, we're not limited by the dimensions of this dunya at the time of sleep. And so a person might see a dead person and the dead may give them nasiha, might give them advice. The dead might comfort them, right? To let them know that I'm okay, that everything is good, alhamdulillah. They might see their dead loved ones in a place of al-jannah or where, you know, something uh, really good happening with them. And the soul will comfort the soul of the living to say that I'm okay, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. It might be that the dead asks the one who is alive to go and pay off a debt. Maybe they weren't aware of it. Remember we talked about the first thing that you do for those that have passed away. So, you know, go to this person and pay off a debt or go seek forgiveness from this person because I hurt that person. SubhanAllah, someone in my own family, um, you know, passed away in Hajj. And this was years ago. And passing away in Hajj is a form of shahada. 
But when he passed away, his children all saw the same dream at night. They saw a dream of him, and I'm talking about numerous children, saw a dream of him asking them to go seek forgiveness from a very particular person. They all woke up and they all saw the same dream of him asking them to go seek forgiveness from a particular person. They did so, they went to that person, and then they saw a dream of him in Al-Jannah. As if to say, SubhanAllah, I mean, hurting people and having those things can prevent even a righteous person, a person who dies the most ideal of death, from reaching their desired place with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So sometimes you might see a dream and your deceased one is telling you, go pay off that debt, go seek forgiveness from that person because I hurt that person. These are all things that we find narrated over and over and over again. And sometimes they might remind you of the hereafter.